back to Brent Sang, I'm Brent Barnett. Today's episode is all about the front curved rack with side wings, the GCS375R. And I'm gonna show you multiple ways this thing can be set up so that it's not just a traditional looking rack. This is the GCS375R. It's a front curved rack with side wings. Now this is great for those of you that aren't necessarily ready to jump into a full-fledged like three-sided rack. Maybe you just want to borrow over the bass drum to attach a couple toms and some cymbals to maybe and also need some additional mounting space for, for a couple more cymbals. A ride, crash, maybe a splash, maybe another tom on this side. I don't know. This is your setup. It's not mine. But this is great for consolidating a lot of the stands and getting rid of those tripods. So let's have a look at what comes with this. So we have a 40 inch curved bar. We have two 24 inch curved bars for side wings. Then we also have two 30 inch fixed T-leg assemblies. Now what I mean by fixed is there's not a clamp that you can remove the vertical from the foot quickly. The vertical is screwed onto the foot from the underside and there are two different settings that you can have the vertical leg attached to. One's offset and one is centered. Now it also comes with uh, two boom arms. It comes with four multi-clamps and then four right angle clamps. So I'm gonna show you guys what this kit looks like with a six piece setup, a seven piece, an eight piece setup. I'm also gonna show you some unique ways that you can position this rack so that it doesn't look like a traditional rack with a bar over the bass drum. So here's the rack setup with a six piece kit, two rack toms, two floor toms, two crashes, a ride, a splash, and hi-hats. Now, I didn't add any more multi-clamps to this. This is exactly what came with the rack. We have the ride cymbal mounted to the, to the floor tom side curved wing. We have the two crashes mounted out of the vertical legs. We have the two rack toms using the two multi-clamps on the crossbar. And then I have the splash attached to the side wing over on the hi-hat side. So for a legless option, you can go with a legless snare stand and a legless hi-hat stand, which is a great addition to the rack because you remove all the tripods off the floor. For the snare stand, I use the SCGPRSBAR, which is the stealth vent bar, to connect to the front leg, and I connected it to the, t the, uh, the stealth T-leg assembly, which is the GSMTL. For the hi-hat stand, I use the 9707 NLDP, which is the legless hi-hat stand, and I connected it to the wing of, uh, on the left side with the SCEA100, the extension arm with a rotating grabber clamp, and I had to, I had to add a multi-clamp to do this. So now I've got a seven piece kit mounted to this setup. Eight, 10, 12 mounted across, right across the front crossbar. I've got two main crashes, one out of each leg. I've got my splash mounted to the left curved side wing. Now moving over to the right side, I've got my ride mounted directly off of the right curved wing. And then I also have my ch a china mounted directly off the right curved wing as well, positioned right above the, ch uh, right above the ride. So it's uh, very comfortable for me to reach to. All right, so I'm getting a little crazy here and I've upgraded to an eight piece drum kit now. I've got eight, 10, 12, 13, 14, 16, 22, 14 inch snare. I've got two crashes, a ride, China, splash, hi-hats. I got everything here. So I've got my 10, 12, 13 mounted right across on the front crossbar. I've got my two main crashes mounted out of the front legs. My right side wing is holding my, my ride cymbal and my China. Now what I did on the left side is I had to get a little bit higher to get this tom placed up in the height that I wanted. So what I did was instead of having the side wing down below the front crossbar, I moved it and moved it higher and mounted it to the above the crossbar so it's higher. So then I was able to get my splash and just use the actual boom rod rather than an actual boom arm, a boom rod. And then I mounted my eight directly to the end of the side wing using the SC LGUA, which is a long tom arm with an ultra adjust ball, so I can get it placed high enough to where I can use it like an accent tom. So here we have the 375R set up in a very unique way. It's, it's not set up like a traditional rack is with the bar over the bass drum. This is what I call the ghost rack. The, and it was inspired by one of our Facebook followers who sent me a picture that, of his rack, how he sets up this way, and I thought it was so cool, I had to include it in this video. But what it is, is the crossbar now is hidden down behind the bass drum, so it doesn't look like there's a crossbar. 
and it curves away from the drummer as opposed to, to towards the drummer. So also the 24 inch curve bars that we had as side wings now mount at the very top of each leg and they curve away. So what this becomes, they become a curved uh, T platform on both sides, curved T's. So now let's see how we mounted everything. So the rack toms were mounted to the curved crossbar down below. Each tom arm was mounted to the, to the side, uh, to each side of the bass drum. Now I use the SC LGUA tom arms because they have a longer down tube and allow me to get the height that I need. Plus they have a gearless ultra adjust tilter that allow me to position the tom in any angle that I want. So I can get these as feeling just as comfortable as I need in order to play. So moving over to the, uh, the cymbals on the hi-hat side, I've got two crashes and a splash mounted to the curved T support over here. My hi-hat stand is a legless hi-hat that I connected directly to the front leg of the rack. Moving over to the floor tom side, I've got a crash, china, and ride mounted directly to the curved T support. Now, this, this rack is so compact and I've got so much gear going on here. You have no idea really that this is a rack unless you're getting up close. That's why we call it the ghost rack. This has such a unique look. And there are so many different ways that you can set up this rack to make it look non-traditional. It doesn't have to be set up like you see it in a magazine or you see in the local band playing down the street at the bar. Well, that's it for this week's episode. Thanks for watching. I just showed you guys a few possibilities that you have with this rack. There's multiples more, and I'm sure you guys have, have a number of ways that you like to set this thing up that's different than the traditional way. I would love to see it, so please show them to us. Send them to our Facebook page. We would love to see them. Anyways, thanks a lot, and we'll see you next time.